Hi, today I'm gonna be talking about EGR valve on Ford Mondeo Mark III TDCI. If you're watching this video, the chances are that your Mondeo had developed a fault. So if you've noticed loss of power, excessive smoking while accelerating, engine management light staying on, or flashing coil symbol on the dashboard, or combination of those, it might be worth checking the valve. EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. The valve is located in between inlet manifold of the engine and turbo. There's also a pipe from the exhaust system connecting to it. Over time, the valve gets clogged up by sticky residue, which restricts the valve's movements and eventually your valve will get stuck for good. When that happens, the sensor here sends an information about it to the car's ECU. In order to remove the valve, which I've already done partially, you'll have to undo four bolts in here, and I'll zoom in to show you that. So there are four bolts, two on the top and two on the side, and you'll also have to loosen up this jubilee clip at the bottom here. Now remove this vacuum hose, that attaches in here and uh, disconnect this plug. Basically this sensor acts as a switch. Computer sends signal down one wire and depending on the valve's position the signal is then sent back to the computer down one, the, one of the two other wires. If received signal comes from a wrong wire then the computer indicates fault and this is where the lights on your dashboard come from. I've cleaned my valve around six months ago, so I'm not really sure what to expect. But anyway, the valve is ready to come off, so let's get on with it. So let's have a look inside. Well, this is not looking pretty. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera to focus so you can see the buildup of soot inside and also from this side so yeah certainly this valve needs cleaning but before i clean this valve let me explain how EGR should work so basically what you can see here is an actual valve mechanism which moves in and out or uh, out and in the valve is vacuum operated and it's also spring loaded if there's no vacuum acting on the valve, the spring inside ensures that the valve remains closed. When vacuum is applied, the valve opens. And on this side is where exhaust gases enter the valve and are then sucked into the engine. So the valve should stay closed at high revs, uh, say at around 2000. This is when the turbocharger kicks in and the valve needs to be closed to ensure that the compressed air is directed to the engine and not out through the exhaust system. The valve should open at lower revs, uh, below 2000, and when engine idles. This allows the exhaust gases to enter the engine for another combustion cycle, warming it up or cooling it down depending on the situation, but also it helps with uh, cutting down on emission. Before I'll put this back together, let me tell you what you could do to stop your EGR from going sticky again. As you may have noticed, there's a washer in here. Uh, you could replace this with a solid blanking plate that can be purchased on eBay, or you could try to make one yourself using an empty can of coke and cutting it into shape. Okay, so I'm going to clean this valve now, and I'll show you the results afterwards. So there you have it. The valve is clean now and it's ready to go back in. It really pays off to give this part here a really good clean. To make it easier, I suggest you use a carb cleaner and a toothbrush. Okay, that's it for today guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please like it. And I'll catch you guys next time.